In this video, I'm going to introduce you to something called the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is really just a fancy name for telling us how to find different side lengths in right triangles. So this formula looks like this. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the length of the longest side. And another word for our longest side of our right triangle is the hypotenuse. We also know that this longest side is always directly diagonal. So it's neither of the sides touching the right angle, but it's the one that's across from the right angle. A and B are just our legs. It doesn't matter which one you label as which, as long as these are just the two shorter legs. So let's look at some example problems to help us understand what the Pythagorean theorem tells us. So as usual, we have steps listed to tell us how to solve problems using the Pythagorean theorem. My first step is to draw my triangle. A lot of times the triangle will already be drawn for you, but since we do testing online and everything, you wanna make sure you draw it yourself on paper so that you do not mix up the sides. Then we need a label the longest side, which is our hypotenuse, C, and the angle directly diagonal to it as the right angle. So what I'm going to do is look at these first two examples. I know my right angle is right here. So I know that the side that's diagonal from it, the one that's not directly touching it, is going to be my hypotenuse. So it's gonna be my letter C. Then I need to label the other two sides A and B. It does not matter which one you label which, your answer will still be the same. The only side that is super important that you get correct is the hypotenuse. So the longest side always has to be C. Then we need to label the triangle with the given side lengths. So like I said, a lot of times this is already done for you, but sometimes they'll just list the side lengths and you would have to actually put them into your drawing of your triangle. Then I'm gonna write out my formula. My formula is A squared. I'm gonna write it in different colors this first time just so we can keep everything straight. So I know a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm just going to plug in for these values. So in place of a, I would write my value for a. In place of b, I write my value for b. And then in place of this letter c, I'm going to write my value for c. So a in example one is 36. B is 77, and C we actually don't know. We're using the letter X. And then I'm just going to simplify using my calculator. So my first thing I'm going to do is I have exponents on this side, so I can do 36 squared, and I get 1,296 and 77 squared, I get 5,929. So I'm just gonna write those numbers really quickly. So we've got 12 plus 5,929. And I know that those all equal X squared. I'm gonna add those two numbers together so 1,296 plus 5,929, and I get 7,000, 
225 equals x squared. Notice that I still don't have x completely by itself. We need to get rid of the little squared. Remember what I do for the little squared symbol is in order to get rid of it, I have to take the square root of both sides. So I'm taking the square root in order to get x totally by itself. So the square root of 7,225 is 85. So then I know my value for x is 85. And I can check this problem by plugging in. So I can say, okay, a squared, which is 36 squared, plus b squared, 77 squared, equals 7,225. I'm gonna double check to make sure that's what my c squared is, and it is, so I know I am correct. Let's do another example. My next example, my steps are going to be the same. My first step is going to be to identify my right angle. So we'll draw my triangle right, label the longest side, the hypotenuse. My longest side is always the one that's diagonal from my right angle. So this is my longest side. We're gonna label that C. Now I need to label A and B. I'm gonna label this one A and this one B. I'm gonna write out my formula. I'm going to rewrite this again and leave the blanks so that I can plug in everything correctly and I don't forget my little squares. I'm gonna plug in for A, 18, for B, eight, and for C, the letter X because we have an X where that number should be. And I'm gonna use my calculator. So we're going to do 18 squared plus 8 squared, and I'm going to get 388 equals x squared. Notice the x is not totally by itself, so we want to take the square root of both sides to get rid of this little two and we get 19.6977156. So I'm gonna round to the nearest 10th, which is just one space to the right of the decimal point because my next space is a nine. I'm gonna round up and I get 19.7. So that means that the length of this last side is 19.7. Next, I'm going to look at when they give me a side length that's missing that isn't C. So my steps are all still the same. I'm going to identify my right angle and go directly across from it to see what my longest side is. That's my hypotenuse, so I'm gonna label it C. The other two sides will be A and B, and I'm gonna plug this all in to my equation. So we've got A squared plus B squared plus equals C squared and I'm going to have my missing spots in the equation right below it so I don't make any mistakes. And I'm gonna plug in my numbers. 
A is a nine. B is our missing number, so we're going to write an X. C is 41. The difference here is we're gonna just have one extra step when solving for X. So let's just start off by simplifying and getting rid of these parentheses. So I know nine squared is 81. X squared is just X squared. And then 41 squared is 1,681. So before I can take the square root, I need X squared to be on a side completely by itself. So what I need to do is subtract 81 from both sides so that the X is on this side by itself. Once that happens, I can take the square root. The square root of x squared is just x, and then the square root of 1,600 is 40. So then I know that this last side length, or b, this letter x, is 40. We're gonna do one more example that looks like that. My first step is to label my right angle because that will help me label my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse is my letter C. Once that one is labeled, the other two sides are A and B. And remember that it doesn't matter which one is A and which one is B. I'm going to replace the letters for the numbers I am given in this triangle. C is 20, B is just X, and A is 11. I'm going to use my calculator and find what 11 squared is and 20 squared. We have 121 plus x squared equals 400. I want x on a side totally by itself, so I'm gonna subtract 121 from both sides before I do anything else. 400 minus 121 is 279. In order to get rid of this little squared, we take the square root. The square root of 279 is 16.7.